I am the forest. I take in your pollution and give you clean air. Purify your water and protect your shores. Yet you continue to cut me down, releasing carbon into the air and heating this planet. While some of you stand with me, most of you turn your backs on me. But I am resilient. Let me grow and we can solve your climate problem together. When one tree falls, you might not hear it. But when millions fall, I assure you, you will feel it. I am the mountain. I am nature's oldest temple. My glaciers and streams provide the water you drink. My forests, your wood, your clean air. From up here, I see how you've come to treat this world. You used to recharge your body and soul in the calm of my forests. You once climbed my peaks seeking enlightenment. Now you take what you want and contemplate only your own gain. Open your eyes while there's still time. Because there's one more thing I see clearly. The cliff you're on and the rocks below. Some call me nature. Others call me mother nature. I've been here for over four and a half billion years. 22,500 times longer than you. I don't really need people, but people need me. Yes, your future depends on me. When I thrive, you thrive. When I falter, you falter. Or worse. But I've been here for eons. I have fed species greater than you, and I have starved species greater than you. My oceans, my soil, my flowing streams, my forests, they all can take you or leave you. How you choose to live each day, whether you regard or disregard me, doesn't really matter to me, one way or the other. Your actions will determine your fate, not mine. I am nature. I will go on. I am prepared to evolve. Are you? I am water. To humans, I am simply just there. I'm something they just take for granted. But there is only so much of me and more and more of them every single day. I start as rain in the mountains, flow to the rivers and streams, and end up in the ocean. Then the cycle begins again. And it will take me 10,000 years to get back to the state I'm in now. But to humans, I'm just water is there. Where will humans find me when there are billions more of them around? Where will they find themselves? Will they wage wars over me like they do over everything else? That's always an option, but it's not the only option.